Hello, my name is James Lincoln. I'm a science teacher, and I'm going to talk to you about science fair projects for middle school that you can do about eggs. Now, when you get an egg, the first thing you notice is that it's not exactly round. And that is because eggs are supposed to roll in somewhat circular paths. You can do a science experiment based on what shape the egg's roll is. You might want to change the speed at which you roll, or measure carefully whether it's a circle or some other shape, but an egg will not roll in a straight line. That's the idea, so the egg doesn't roll away from the chicken. Another thing you might want to do with eggs that has to do with the way that they roll, or spin, is spin an egg. Here is a fresh egg from the refrigerator, and when I spin it and stop it, it keeps spinning even after I've stopped it. That's because the inside of the egg is a liquid, and when I stop it, the liquid inside keeps spinning, and so the egg keeps spinning. That will not happen with a hard-boiled egg. When I stop it, it stays stopped. There's another experiment you can do with spinning that you might want to investigate. If you spin an egg really fast, it stays pretty much flat. That's a regular egg. But if you spin a hard-boiled egg fast, it will stand up. You should try this out and investigate how fast you have to spin it in order for it to stay standing up when you spin it. Many people often dissolve an egg shell in vinegar because the egg shell is destroyed by the vinegar's acid effects. But I suggest you try it for other substances and compare. For example, you can try lemon juice or soda pop or orange juice or if you have something stronger, maybe even hydrochloric acid. All of these acids will have the effect to dissolve the egg shell, but not all of them will do it at the same rates. That's something you might want to test for. Which acid dissolves the egg shell the fastest, and which one does the best job dissolving it all the way through? Another experiment you can do is to see how many eggs you can stand on before they give in under your weight. That is, how few eggs are necessary to bear the entire load of your weight. It's going to matter how much you weigh, and you're going to want to wear socks to keep your feet safe in case the eggs crack. Be careful and have fun with this one. Lastly, there are many experiments about how fast an egg can go without breaking or how to design an apparatus to prevent an egg from cracking if you drop it from a roof or another high place. You should have no difficulty finding these if you search for them. Good luck with these experiments, and I'll see you next time.